Hello friends, yes, Nino Schutter was right by putting the proper cockpit on his bike. This is my Big Nine 9000. This is my uh, racing hardtail. Uh, as you, most of you know, I'm racing and training this year on the same bike. It's not even the same model, but different bikes. This is the same bike. And so, because I am a climber, I love climbing. I did two things in order to feel very ergonomic, to, to have better power transfer, and I do feel it and it shows during my races. So let's see. This is the Synchros Fraser. The whole model is called Fraser ICSL Special Edition, which is negative 25 degrees. And the virtual length of the stem is 90 millimeters. My previous cockpit was also 90 millimeters stem, but it was negative like 10 degrees, something like that. So I'm sitting much lower. And when I um, add this, which is the tip of the saddle down with this, which is lower handlebars, I feel amazing on the climbs. And even though I was talking to you, most of you recreational uh, riders, road bikers, uh, mountain bikers, that you should not be at all costs trying to get your stem slammed down if you're just riding the bike in different conditions. But if you want to climb, steep climbs, steep, steep hills, single tracks, you want to do KOMs, you will see the link to my almost KOM down here. These two things will give you one really good starting position to your butt. I mean, this saddle will keep your butt in place. It means that when you're climbing very steep hill, your butt will not slide as much down the saddle and so you won't have to pull yourself back into position because that will create lower back pain and fatigue uh, over minutes hours when you're racing so when my saddle is tipped downwards i'm sitting better and my handlebars are now lower instead of pulling myself i can simply rest on the handlebars having great climbing position does it bother me on the descents? No, it doesn't. Uh, most of us now are using dropper post. As you can see, I had dropper post on, uh, on this bike. Uh, I removed it, replaced it with the standard one, but nice and flexy because this is bike for the marathons and some shorter here local races in not that gnarly or hard terrain. Uh, so no, I don't feel that my handlebars being lower make me more scared on the on the descents remember also that on the descents we we will very much think about putting the weight on the front wheel in order to have the traction on the wheels lower handlebars are putting more weight on the front of the bike when i'm riding for three hours on the road on this bike yes i will feel like over two and a half over three hours i will feel on my palms that I'm putting more weight on them, on my arms, but I feel on my palms uh, especially. And these grips are lightweight grips. Uh, I use Ergon grips on my other bikes, which are, which are very, very comfortable. Uh, so this is not the bike made for three hours flat roads. But last Saturday, almost four hours, climb, descend, climb, descend, climb, descend amazing stuff so this really works uh, synchros uh, fraser icsl is really good uh, cockpit it's easy to put uh, on on your bike is it expensive i don't know probably same price as i had my cockpit which was super light merida uh, cockpit this one is not to make your bike lighter because um, my previous cockpit was about 100 245 grams this one is 250 so it's five grams more you probably noticed that I replaced my super duper XTR two piston brakes with the Magura Trail SL brakes, which are just 20 grams uh, heavier, but have four piston at the front and two bigger piston and monoblock uh, caliper at the rear. And I love it. But if you want to get some review of these brakes from me, just let me know. I will probably make uh, another video. Now I'm hitting the trails doing uphill intervals. Love it, guys. See ya.